Boosteroid will revolutionize the way we play games. Boosteroid is a type of cloud gaming service and it offers you the ability to play so many different games that you can't play normally on your hardware. I'm on a MacBook and normally I can't play any of these games, but Boosteroid allows me to play every one of them, provided that I own the game on the store. You can of course play any of the free-to-play games like Fortnite and uh, Paladins. You can play these games without buying them because they're already free to play, but you do need a license for any of the games that you need to actually buy. Uh, I think Boosteroid will definitely grow very rapidly over the next few years because people are joining so many so many new users joined because uh, of Hogwarts Legacy and this is one of the few services that you can play Hogwarts Legacy on uh, and as you can see there's so many different games you'll never run out of games to play on Boosteroid which is why I think um, compared to GeForce Now it's probably the better service as far as the games are concerned I think that they will be adding servers, new servers, very shortly. So if you do get connection problems, don't worry too much because they'll be upgrading the servers very soon. One thing I can suggest is always, if you want to get the best possible experience from cloud gaming, then you always want to use Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable is the way you connect to your router directly without using Wi-Fi. Because when you play via Wi-Fi, you can get some connection problems. And when you use an Ethernet cable, you are directly connected to your router. So there's no interference between you and your router, which means you should get a more stable connection. It does also depend on how close you are to Boosteroid's server. The nearest, nearest server to you, the nearer it is, then the lower your latency will be and the better your experience. So you can always do a speed test here in the top right. And this will allow you to check your connection. As you can see, I have a very good latency, two milliseconds. So I can enjoy cloud gaming through Boosteroid and provided you have less than 20, that would be the recommended amount. But really it depends on the game you're playing. Like if you're playing a very reaction intensive game, like Rocket League or Fortnite, um, even then you want the lowest possible latency for these kinds of games because they're very action paced, uh, very high uh, fast paced action. So um, in this case you want the lowest possible latency, but with some games the latency isn't quite so important. Like with Spider-Man, uh, maybe you won't, you won't really need to have the very lowest latency to enjoy the game. And it would be the same for a game like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, that's more of a kind of RPG style game. And so you can still enjoy those games even if you are on quite high latency. But obviously it's something to bear in mind is that you want the lowest possible to get the best experience. And usually uh, you can upgrade your broadband like most ISPs will give you an option that is probably better than what you're using right now. So it's worth looking into if your ISP actually gives you a better option when it comes to speed. Like you always want to have fiber optic. Fiber optic is the latest technology for internet, how they provide you internet. Normally you would use a copper cable, but fiber cable uses uh, glass um, and that's a lot faster for most people. And so, yeah, I can very much recommend uh, Boosteroid. I've been using it for the past month and I've been really enjoying playing Overwatch 2. It's really my main game. But you can see here, you can also play Elden Ring and you can play all of these really popular games because um, they are on the install section. So you will need to install them onto the virtual machine. Uh, but you can see you have GTA 5, which is a very popular game. Everyone wants to play GTA 5, and you have Red Dead Redemption 2, you have all of these incredibly popular titles, Borderlands 3, um, 
and yeah, I can I can very much recommend this service. Uh, and if you want to give it a try, you can take the one month option, which is less than ten euros, I believe. I'm not sure what the price is in uh, dollars, but you can definitely give it a try. See for yourself. Because don't listen to what people tell you about cloud gaming. People will tell you it's a very poor experience, but really the only way to know for, for sure is to do a speed test first of all. And then if your speed result is good enough, then give it a try. You have nothing to lose.